Hey everyone, this is week one, day two's video. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick little intro for you guys on what you're going to be looking at and seeing today. Um, like I said yesterday in class, we're going to be getting into uh, basically starting right into diving into all the different types of weather stuff. Um, the big thing, uh, today's, today's thing is pretty pretty lengthy. There is um, there is quite a bit of reading and then there also is a fairly lengthy video as well. Um, all of it is great information though. The video itself does a great job of going over weather in general and kind of introducing you to, to weather, how it is created, why we have different types of weather patterns all around the globe. It also describes you know what makes the tropical areas tropical what makes the arctic areas arctic and cold and you know what it'll even help you understand you know why weather here in st george or wherever you live is is the way it is as well so it's going to go through and describe um as you can kind of see right here on the outline it's going to describe all of these different things maritime regional weather continental polar tropical um, coastal mountainous island plains and then it's also going to talk a little bit about the atmosphere. As far as what you want to be able to take away from today's lesson, um, from today's studying, the big things that you want to know are primarily, first of all, and this is something you know that you'll see on a quiz. So remember this and uh, and write it down, whatever you need to do to remember it. But first of all, and you're going to read this, but I'll just go ahead and kind of give you a, a few of the the big things you're going to be seeing but the primary driver for all weather around the earth is going to be the sun okay so that's the first thing you want to remember is the sun and as everybody knows the earth is on a tilt and the earth obviously orbits around the sun and we have seasons and different times of the year depending on the earth's position uh, relative to the sun and how the sun is heating the earth's surface so the primary thing that you're going to want to know uh, first of all today when looking at this is the primary cause of all weather on earth is the uneven heating of the earth's surface by the sun okay the sun and that uneven heating all across the earth as you can Imagine the sun is not always shining on the same areas around the globe at all times. And so, you know, whether it's night or whether it's day or whether it's summer or whether it's winter, the sun is the rays of the sun are directly shining on different portions of the earth. And what that causes ultimately is all of our different weather patterns. It causes <clears throat> different areas to heat up, different areas to cool down. It causes the wind. It causes uh, weather to be created, clouds, uh, all sorts of anything that's related to weather is ultimately caused by the sun and the uneven heating of the Earth's surface. So remember that. That will be a quiz question. Um, it's going to go in and it's going to describe, you know, pretty in detail all the different areas around the globe and what kind of weather that they have. Um, one of the other big takeaways that you're going to want from this is regarding the atmosphere. You're going <clears> to <throat> you're going to look at the atmosphere. You're going to talk about the different layers of the atmosphere and the composition of the atmosphere. And this actually was a question that has been asked on the practical test to to some of the students recently. But uh, you might get asked this, you know, not it's not necessarily a quiz question, but uh, you'll want to remember that the atmosphere is composed of 78% oxygen, 20 per, or sorry, uh, I messed that up. It's 78% nitrogen, 20% oxygen, and then 1% of just a whole bunch of other just cumulative gases. So um, remember that as well because uh, it's been asked, uh, it's been known to be asked on the FA practical as well. So um, other than that, um, Obviously, you're going to want to learn about your, you know, the different local weather types um, and, you know, watch the video. There are three different videos here or sorry, four different videos. The first one is the lengthy one. Um, it, it is almost two hours. And then the other ones are pretty short. So um, 
yeah, if anybody has any issues with the videos or any issues or questions on this particular um, outline for today, uh, obviously let me know, text or email. Um, also let me know if you have any issues with getting any of these things to play or be able to watch them. If you, the, the actual reading assignment is here in the folder for day two, week one, day two. If you open this up, you'll see here, this is, you need to read through this entire thing here. And it looks longer than it is. It shows it's 27 pages, but as you can see, a lot of the pages have big graphics. Ultimately, it's not that bad to get through. So, um, but you do need to plan on reading through all of it. And uh, I would say watch the videos first and then do the reading. That's probably what you want to do. Um, and that should be it. If, Like I said, if you have problems or questions, let me know. And we will see you on here again tomorrow.